Hey, hey, this is BA, and welcome to WD GAN Planetary Math Part 1. What we're going to be doing on this one is we're going to be taking a look at what's known out there as GAN's coffee letter. And um, the reason why it's important is because this is the first place, or actually the only place, where GAN literally kind of outlines his price system, his real price systems. Okay, there's more than one system he's using. He actually uses three. Um, but, uh, and they complement each other or harmonize. And I put some of that in my other video, so I'm not going to repeat that. But in, in this, uh, we're going to see why this letter is so important. Okay. And uh, because what Gan was doing was he just wasn't, you know, going, oh, Venus and Jupiter's love. No, 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 no. What Gan was doing was he was combining the planets in the planetary movement or, you know, some people call it harmonics uh, with uh, specific numbers. And uh, we'll get into this here. All right. Uh this is signed by W.D. Gann. This is a letter Gann wrote to Mr. John Spawn on April 1st, 1926. Okay. And uh, it's important in establishing this because this coffee letter, here it is again, was written in, signed by Gann actually, in 1954. 20, almost 28 years later, okay? So these guys at this point had known each other for at least 28 years. And what had happened was uh, Gan died, Spawn died, and then uh, Spawn's son uh, released some of this, what's called public Gan material, if you will. But look at these guys knew each other for 28 years, and this is what Gan writes. Remember that you have signed an agreement not to reveal these rules and instructions to anyone. And by keeping these secret discoveries confidential for your own use, you will later receive the very important circle of eight average, which is CE average, and the mean of five formula, which is only taught to students who have taken the same course as you, and, and we do not reveal it to students who take the minor courses and pay less money. So these guys had been corresponding for almost 28 years when this thing was written. Okay, Mr. Spawn has, you know, uh, progressed along to where he needs uh, better price tools from GAN. Okay, now, before we get into this, I need to make one important point. None of this will work without the time cycles. The time cycles is the thing that's missing from this. Okay, what you do is you, 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 you take this once you have the time cycles and apply this to the time cycles. Okay, so we're not going to do time cycles in this video, but we're going to take a look at the math and we're really going to get into this math. Okay. And, uh, he uses a, a high here of eight, seven, two, nine, and then note these first four lines. Cause we're going to, we're going to do each of them line by line. And I couldn't write on this. And so I, I broke it down on the slides and, uh, we will go back to the slides here in a minute. I just want to make a couple more points. One, uh, this was written about a year before Gann's death. Gann died in the summer of 1955. Okay, so, uh, and he's, uh, number two is, keep in mind that he's trying to help Spawn out, you know, by by revealing this. And it's it's written in a certain way to where if this ever, if this ever did go public, it's going to confuse the hell out of anyone. And we'll get into all that in this series. I was originally just going to do one part in this. And then I was like, no, let's make it a series because there's so much here and there's so much I think, uh, people miss. Okay. Let's get started. Let's go back to the slides. Dan, one point to one degree, 8,729. Equals 29 Gemini. Ah, it walked on me. It does that every once in a while. 872 equals 29 Gemini. BA, 8,729. Subtract out all the 360s as you can. This is called modding 360. Okay. And the remainder is 89. 89 equals 29 Gemini. Okay. See how, see how that works? Just take 8,729 and go minus 360, minus 360, minus 360, 
or do it on a spreadsheet. It's even faster than using a calculator. And you'll wind up with 89. And 89 is, is two sines over, two full sines plus 29 degrees, which is 29 Gemini. GAN, scale of 30 points to 1 degree equals 21 Capricorn. BA, divide 8,729 by 30, which equals 20, 290.9 or 291 or 21 Capricorn. All right. Once again, you do, now, why 30? I mean, why not divide it by 50 or 100 or something like that? Well, 30 is known as the Saturn scale. Okay, and we'll have more on this later. Saturn scale is 30. And he uses this a lot for his long term because Saturn is a planet kind of moves slow. Okay. Gan, Jupiter scale of 12. Now think about that. Saturn takes about 29.5 years to make a revolution. Gan rounds it out to 30 and uses 30. Jupiter takes 12 years uh, to make a circle. Gan uses the Jupiter scale of 12 points. To one degree equals 7.5 Aries. BA, 8,729 divided by 12 equals 727.4. Minus 720, which is two circles, mod out 360 again, equals 7.4 Aries. Gans close here. Okay? See how he's doing that? Gan. One cent to one degree equals 27 Gemini 16. BA. 8,729 equals 87.29. And this equals two, two full signs plus 27.29 into Gemini, which translates to 27 Gemini 16-ish. Welcome to the beginning. And this is BA. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.